are absolutely thrilled to be here with Anna and Austin Kuhn. I'm sure most of you have seen this incredible motion graphic that so beautifully tells Sasko's story. We just released it recently and we'll be showing it again today. Well, you've now seen the creative geniuses behind that video, as well as almost every single video that we have ever released to tell our story. Um, we have Austin and Anna to thank for that. Um, so Austin and Anna, thank you for being here with us today. And I'm just going to ask you a few questions about you and how you tell stories and how you have been on this journey with SAS for years now. Um, but first, tell us a little bit about y'all's background in filmmaking and also your company that the two of you have created together, Made Film Company. Yeah. Um, first of all, we're really excited to be here. Yes. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it's just really, really cool to, uh, to be on with y'all. But uh, as far as the company goes, so um, I've been doing video since I was really little, just like starting from when my parents first had like those little tape recording cameras and mm -hmm. stuff. And so I've always been picking those up and filming just everything like I can get my hands on. And Literally. Um, that's kind of how it started. And from that point on, it just like developed into a career through Clemson and uh, working with sports and stuff like that. And so over the whole period of time, um, kind of knew that I wanted to eventually branch out and start a company and be able to tell other stories and be a part of those things. So mm -hmm. um, I'll say that's kind of how it got started. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah, and, well, and then um, you know, through meeting Austin, you know, when we met when we were pretty young, um, that's kind of where I started in my journey with everything. Um, because it was such a heavy passion for him, it was kind of hard to really do anything that wasn't around, like centered around going and filming or going and photographing something. And so um, it started with him and, and it led to now we are a, you know, husband and wife team that, um, you know, production company that go and try and serve, you know, local and nationally and hopefully one day, you know, globally um, to different companies that, you know, we're passionate about and that we want to really share their story. And, and so we're course, made, I don't think we said made, made yeah. film company. That's our company name, made yes. film company. Yeah. We've been telling Sass's story for years and Anna, that started with you. Can you just tell everyone <clears throat> about how you first got involved with Sass? Yes. So I, I think it was like four years ago. Um, <clears throat> I got a call from Shannon and you know, I, I never, I didn't know who Shannon was, and, and she, I answered the phone, and she was like, hey, you know, this is who I am, you know, this is what I do, you know, I, I work it with SAS Go, and, or SAS, and um, she was like, I saw one of your videos, and I, I'm try I was trying to remember which video she saw, but I think it was just a simple, like, you know, Austin and I went to the mountains or something, and, and we just, like, kind of filmed some nature and everything, and she was like, I saw that video, and, um, I want you to come and film this girls' night that we're having. Um, I th and I think it was at, I'm trying to remember if it was a girls' night or if I went to uh, one of the USC classes first. And I think it was the USC class first. Um, and she was like, I just want you to come um, and I want you um, to make a video for us. Um, she was like, I, I saw that video that you made and it had such a gentle touch to it. And I think that that's something that we want here. And I remember being like, me you want me to come and do that like okay sure i'll come and do it you know not really understanding what i was going into um and then from that point on just <laughs> almost my whole world changing when i fully you know figured out what sas was figured out the mission behind sas and what i was ultimately saying yes to was such a big yes in my life um and so since that point, you know, we've traveled with you guys to, I was thinking about it last night, we've gone to LA, San Francisco, Salt Lake City, Denver, uh, kind of all over the Midlands, um, and just has been 
the most incredible experience. And I'm just so grateful for that phone call that Shannon <laughs> had with me and that she trusted me with this. Um, because honestly, you know, SAS has been such a big impact, had such a big impact um, in my life, um, even behind the camera. Um, and so, so yeah, that's how we got started. <laughs> sharing the impact it's had behind the camera? Oh, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> I think that when I first got that call from Shannon, I think that I didn't, I never had had anyone come to me or anyone personally in my life um, that had been, um, you know, sexually assaulted, sexually abused, um, been in an unhealthy relationship. At least it has come to me about it. Um, and so I think that I was a little bit naive on what, what has been happening in the world and what is going on in the world every single day. Um, and so I remember um, going into the first class with SAS um, after I got that phone call from Shannon. And I'm pretty sure, I, I think it was the USC class um, that, sh that she was teaching. Um, and walking in, you know, not knowing really what was, I mean, Shannon did, you know, obviously tell, tell me what I was walking into. Um, but I feel like you fully can't understand until you're there. Um, and I remember, and I was telling this to Austin last night, and I was like, I'm going to cry. Uh, I'm going to cry when I tell this story because I remember hearing my first no. And you can't explain that. You can't explain looking out into a, a crowd of girls and hearing that first no. Um, and honestly, from that point on, I was like, I'm in. Whatever we're doing here, whatever's going on, like, this is so important. And I'm in it 100%. I'm here fully. Whatever I can do to share this message of SAS and what they're doing, um, I want to be a part of it. Um, and since that point, I mean, <laughs> any phone call, any text from you, Lisa, or from Shannon or Brett, whoever, that's like, I have an idea. This is what we want to do. It's like, we're in. What do you need? Like, this is what, you know, this is some of the most important things that we can be doing. Um, and, um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I, 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 it's just such an incredible company to be a part of. Um, and it's, it's so much beyond that. And, um, the community with SAS, the community with you guys, the community with instructors, um, with every girl that walks into the room. Um, it's just something that um, we want to be a part of fully. Um, and we're so grateful that we are. Um, so, yeah. Well, we <laughs> are so grateful that you are. And Anna, that first no is what, the first time I heard that no is what got me uh, hooked on SAS as well. Mm -hmm. So I understand. And I think for both of y'all and what you do, that's, the beauty in it because you're right it's it's hard to understand the impact of hearing that no and y'all convey the impact so beautifully in the films that you do mm -hmm. so thank you yeah. um so the video that we're gonna be showing lots of today which honestly Ooh. all <laughs> all of your work is going to be showcased today um <laughs> but this motion graphic video that we're calling meet jen so Austin, will you talk a little bit about how that video came to be, some of the challenges with it, and then also, um, you know, that creative process between you and Shannon and making what was an idea a reality? Right. Um, so Shannon called, I don't know, if, I, I think she called first and basically was like, hey, we have this idea that we want to um, do, and I don't know if y'all do this or not, but we really want to communicate uh, just the message of SAS through, you know, motion graphics. And so um, we talked about it for a while and decided, like, this is the project that we wanted to do and be a part of. Um, and so from that point on, uh, Shannon gave us a script. And um, it was just kind of like, I mean, there was, she basically outlined kind of what she wanted to see. And so she gave me the freedom to be able to be like, all right, this is how I I imagine it looking and different things like that. So that was really cool. Um, uh, and I think it was just, it was just really cool because 
while you're working on this, you're hearing over and over just the message of SAS and uh, the importance of it and being able to communicate that from a visual standpoint. It, it's, it's cool because a lot of times like we're behind the, ca the camera like capturing certain things, but this was a, this enabled me to be able to communicate, you know, a lot of the aspects of the message behind SAS through like different means, I guess, mm -hmm. like showing the global impact through putting characters on the world and um, trying to communicate that sense of just like mm -hmm. power that it has behind it. Um, so, you walk with Jen through her life right. in this video, and I think at the end of it, you know, we kind of talked about Jen as if she was our friend. She's yeah. like, Jen's doing this, and oh, what's Jen going to do here? And like, you know, at the end, you're like, I love Jen. Right. <laughs> they yeah. were written for Jen. Yeah, you can't even attach the character. Yeah, I know. Things that go well through. So, um, but it was cool, and so Shannon and I went back and forth. I would send her uh, kind of what I had in mind, and she would come back and mm. say, well, let's try this, and it was cool because she would have such good ideas to be able to be like, oh, yeah, that would be really good to plug that in here mm -hmm. or add that. And um, it was a fun project to be a part of, for sure. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm hoping it has a good impact on people and mm -hmm. is able to change a lot of lives and help communicate just of the course. importance of all of this. So. And giving, too. Yeah. And how much, you know, we talk about the $20 and how far that goes um, in SAS. And I think that that's really important. And... Yeah, I think it, I mean, I think it perfectly um, portrayed some great qualities of SAS and, and the impact that it has on, you know, from one person and how that spreads um, to it, to everyone and <laughs> to everyone that, that it can touch. Um, so, yeah. yeah. And I think just working on projects like this and being a part of what y'all are doing um, just really enlightens me to a lot of things that I like Anna said, like was kind of naive of and didn't really fully understand. So anytime I get to be a part of a project like this, it's very eye opening. And, you know, I've heard this message over and over and over and the importance of it. And, you know, I want that to get in the hands of every, you know, woman or girl and that I know in my family or that I'm friends with. And so, yeah, I think it's just so important. Um, and working on this has made that very apparent both mentioned being behind the camera and Anna you mentioned all of the places that you've traveled with SAS over the years. Austin you've come with us on trips as well. We we banish you during the actual right. SAS class. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I guess you know you've observed a lot uh, behind the camera and you've been able to be in very vulnerable moments and capture them with such power and with such grace. Um, so I guess I have two questions and we'll start with the first one. Um, but, you know, what are the challenges of that? Like, what do you bring to those moments um, to ensure you are able to capture that full range of emotions that are so beautifully conveyed in your videos. Yeah. Um, well, I think that first and foremost, going into every event or class that I'm a part of, um, I think my first, you know, thought is that this is a, a safe space, um, that this is a place um, that, you know, I'm coming into and I'm going to be, you know, it's kind of, I mean, I'm on the outside of it almost, you know, I'm on the outside and, and I think that I'm very, I'm very aware of that, um, for someone who might be coming into a class for the first time. Um, and, um, so my first thought is just that this is a safe space and that if the camera needs to come out, the camera will come up. If the camera needs to come down, the camera will come down. Um, there's nothing that I would want to push in any class that, um, would be, a vulnerable moment or um, something that um, maybe is really just special to that class. Um, and so I think that that's something that I walk into with every, every class that, that we, that I go into and, and that we go into. Um, and I think that, I mean, I don't think it's, it's any mistake uh, when Shannon gave me that call. Um, and I think that I have to keep reminding myself of that, um, that, you know, our company is called Made and, 
And it's really called made because, you know, we believe that we're made with a purpose and that we are made for this and for moments like this. Um, and I think that, you know, with my involvement with SAS, um, that there's a greater reason for that and there's a greater purpose for that. Um, and so um, that we were truly, you know, here to help make um, these stories for you guys. Um, and I think that there, Shannon talks about the symbol of sass being water and how there's the beautiful side to it, there's the sweet side to it, there's the calm side to it, and then there's also the, the powerful side to it. And so I think that with each video, that's always in the back of my mind as well, that these are, um, you know, moments of just raw, you know, um, just, I'm trying to think of the right words for it, but um, that within each video that there is, you know, beauty in it and that there is, you know, educational pieces of it too. And then there's also, there's power in that. And so I think with each class, um, having it be a safe space, having it be a beautiful space and having it be a powerful space um, and trying to incorporate that into um, each video is just really important. Austin, do you have anything that you would want to add to that? Um, well, I think something that is important to note and that Anna does really well, I feel like, is like not, <laughs> you're going to hate that I'm writing on it, but uh, not that, like, that every detail of a class doesn't have to be put on film necessarily like there are moments that don't need to be captured because they're very real and like she said like there's a time to put down the camera but I think ultimately like the goal is to communicate like the hope that SAS brings and the hope mm -hmm. that uh y'all are helping you know others just have in their lives um and so um I think you know you you do a really good job of being able to communicate that hope without you know, giving away too much of that space, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know if that answers the question. But. No, no, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, and as you mentioned, you are in this safe space involved, but also an outsider. Um, and you've been doing that with us for years. What observations um, would you like to share just from your vantage point? Each, each class is different. Um, structurally, it's, you know, the same, but um, each class is different and there's a new set of girls that come into each class. Um, and it really is, you know, you, <laughs> you almost hear it for the first time again and again with each class um, because there's a new set of ears and there's a new set of eyes. And, um, and I think that that speaks a lot to the power of what SAS does. Um, that even though that we're saying and we're doing and we're educating and we're training, you know, kind of the same structural things that each girl that this impacts each person that this impacts um it hits them differently and i feel like with each class you go into you can see that and um, you can see it on their faces you can see it in their movements you can see it with their first no um you know at the beginning it's so timid and it's so not with everybody but but i remember with my first no and and i always try and say the no's in the class because i want to be a part of the class you know i don't want to as a as a you know outsider in the class i still want to be saying my no's too um, I do that motion. That, I think that's Brett. I think Brett does that. <laughs> she does that. Like, caught off of that. Um, but, um, yeah, and so I think that getting to be a part of each class, you know, <laughs> I feel kind of selfish with it because it's like, I want everyone to come to these classes all the time, you know, and see it and be a part of it. But I think that with each class, it's different, and it hits differently, and it hits differently with each girl. Um, and woman and child that comes into these classes. Um, and so 
yeah, I'm honored that I get to be a part of it and that I get to see that um, because it's new every time. It's, you know, refreshing every time. Um, and yeah. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, the two of you have poured so much into SAS, going above and beyond certainly our wildest imagination as to the amount of time and talent um, that you've given to each project you've done. And we're so grateful. But I want to ask y'all, um, you know, why SAS? Why, why have you decided to, I mean, I'm sure you go above and beyond with every single project you do, but I've <laughs> just been blown away with what you've done for SAS. So why SAS? Um, constantly, like my eyes are open to the importance of SAS. And um, like, I didn't realize the importance before, you know, being a part of this and uh, getting to work with y'all. And so now that I do, you know, I want it, I want it in the hands of everybody I know, you know, I want it in Anna's life. I want it, you know, my mom's life, my sister's life, like everybody that's in my family and beyond. And um, if we have daughters in the future, you know, I want, I want them to be in SAS from the moment they could, they're allowed to be. So um, I just, what, y'all are doing is so important and um it affects so many people um and there's so much light that comes out of y'all's organization and everybody needs that you know there's so many people sorry my dog uh there's so many people that are affected by this <coughs> and need this hope and um it's so important and it's been even even stuff like Shannon shared resources with me with like books to read and mm -hmm. things to watch to educate myself and to be aware of situations that are going on around me every single day that beforehand I would be totally oblivious to. Um, and now I, uh, I'm aware and I'm, I'm watching for different things and I feel like I'm able to help whereas before I was like I felt like everything was hidden from my eyes and so I wasn't really aware um, and so now that's SAS has helped me to realize just what's going on and how I can help and, you know, how I can, you know, send people to SAS for, for help and stuff. So help and hope. So, yeah, I think that would be why I love working with SAS. Thank you. I think for me, yeah, I think I feel like before, I feel like I have like before SAS and after SAS, you know, I think it, it really does just open your eyes to what's going on in the world and the reality um, of the world that we live in. Um, and it's almost like, you know, after a class, after observing a class, after everything, you walk a little higher, you walk a little stronger um, with every, with every class that you see or every, or with the classes that you attend. Um, and I was telling this to Austin, I feel like it's, you know, after a class, <clears throat> you almost have, you have this knowledge, you have this training, you have this everything, you know, in your back pocket that at any point that you need it at any point, like it's there and it's going to be there forever. Um, and I think thinking about the people in your lives that life that you love the most and that, you know my sister, my mom, and, and the women that are in my life, and it's like, this needs to be in their hands, too. This preventative training, this, you know, preventative education, um, and I think it's hard to think about, you know, almost what it was like not knowing this, and not knowing what this training was, and um, how much it impacts the lives of women and girls, you know, in our city, state, nation, globally, um, and once you hear it, it's just like, how can I not share this? You know, it's like, I don't, I can't keep this to myself. Like, this is something that needs to be in the hands of everyone. Um, and, you know, that's our hope for what we're doing with you guys is that we can just be a small piece of, you know, the, uh, tribe that you guys have, um, with everyone trying to share this with everybody, that we can just be a small piece of that. Um, to get into the hands of everyone that we can. Well, thank you both. I really appreciate you being here with us. I really appreciate you 
taking the time so that we could share with the broader community not only um, your beautiful storytelling gift, but also what motivates you to tell the story of SAS. Um, we really appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Okay. We appreciate it a lot. Thank you.